Now in scorched earth, water is a very, very important factor, especially for you beginners. Water is scarce and there's no lakes. So there's got to be one creature that can help you with this. It is the Marilla Top. This creature can store water, basically turning it into a portable water source for when you need it. And to be fair, it's pretty good for berry gathering as well. This is a definitely the starter creature that you're going to need to tame just to survive. With a blazing heat, the Marilla Top will store the water for you and give you a supply of water. Saves running back to the water source or trying to find a water source. So sit back guys, relax and let's go tame ourselves a Marilla Top. Time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes and face the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches down. Restlessness to heal the back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack. And sometimes you just gotta believe. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial for the Marilla Top today. It is the replacement of the trike on Scorched Earth, so it is a must-have, especially for you beginners. So the first thing we're going to go for is our Marilla Top saddle, and I do have it here. Here we go, perfect. And it's very easy to make, and it's very early level as well. So it is, oh, there it is, level 11, and you're just going to need 80 fiber, 110. 40 hide and 30 wood now when it comes to the weapons we're gonna take with us i'm gonna tame it with a boomerang so that's all i am gonna take you can use a crossbow or a rifle or even a bow if you want to with trank arrows but i don't think you need to i'm gonna perfectly happily do it with a boomerang and just for extra measure as well not that you need to do this guys but i am going to take some wooden pillows for the way i'm going to tame one of these and of course, when it comes to the taming food, now you can use simple kibble or crops. Me personally, I'm not that high in the in the game at the minute just to even have simple kibble. So I'm going to use mejo berries, which I'm sure if you're taming this guy at the beginning of the game like I am, then you're only going to have berries, but that is perfectly fine as well. And for the consumables, guys, I'm going to be taking some narcotics for me. You can make narco berries if you want. You can take them with you. But I've got some narcotics, so I'm going to take them anyway. Now, the location of the Marilla Top is sort of center of the... Uh, I, I keep going to say island. It's not an island. But if I ever say island, that's what I mean. But the center of Scorched Earth. Not appearing in the desert areas surrounding Scorched Earth, though. So, guys, expanding from that. My base is located here on the map. And I can't tell you how many Marilla Tops literally stumble into my base. There's even one over here. There was one just a minute ago. I keep punching them to make them flee. But we've got one here. Okay, so we've got level 36 Marilla Top. And you can see that they stop. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to place these here. And I'm going to try and just sort of barricade them in, really. Oh, no. That's if I can. If not, kind of need you over here, friend. But well, he's not going to do it. So let's pick these back up quick. Maybe not the best idea. These guys will attack you if they're in a herd. But if there's only one of them, they won't be too bothered by you. They'll just they'll just basically run, a, run away. So I've sort of tried trapping him, but it's not working. So let's just use our... Uh... Oh my god, there must be another one around somewhere. This is even better for me though. I prefer it when they attack. Oh no. There we go. So all we need to do is just keep running around. Boomerang keep coming back. There we go. So let's just get keep bobbing through our good old pillars. And it's just taking him off his uh, stride. You can see he can't build up enough speed to get me. Uh-oh. He's coming around. He's coming around. Now, he will break these eventually, but... But now, they're just doing what I want them to do. And you don't even need to do this if you want, guys. You can literally go up high up on one of them rocks and just literally boomerang them from there. But I like to make it a bit challenging and a little bit better for you guys to watch. It's a bit boring if I'm just jumping on a rock all the time and attacking things. I like to uh, mix it up a little bit. And you can see he's attacking my, uh, my stuff, but he's not hitting me. He just killed. He just killed a Jaboa. 
Man, this guy's a killer. Oh, we got him stuck. There we go. That's a bit better. Oh, no, he ain't stuck. And he will eventually run. Like, now he's running. <laughs> Come on, kill it. Take him with a boomerang. No. Go back here. Go back here. This might not... Ah, the good thing about Scorched Earth is there's a lot of things that they can get stuck on there. Go a lot, lot of rocks and stuff like that. So we've got him stuck here. I think I've just hit that Ankai low. I have. We'll, we'll get this, uh, this guy down and then we'll deal with the Ankai lows. There we go. We've got him down. Place everything in there. I'll place that in there as well. Oh, Jesus. Oh. We, uh, we managed to... Uh, they're not aggressive on us now. Luckily, we timed it out. Nice. So, now we've got this Marilla Toff down. Uh, I'm just going to stay around. Guys, I've never shown you this before, but if you go on your... In well, if you get your inventory menu up and you go over to this one here, this taming list, you can literally mark where your teams are and you can see everything around so like this for example if i'm all the way over here or even the other side of the map really it doesn't matter you'll always get this to show where they are so that's always a good little thing now what i'm going to do guys while i'm waiting i'm going to linger around here and i'm just going to get some uh, some silk because i really need some for my base um but yeah we're going to do that and just why well, just you know while we're, we're guiding him into uh into our our clan you will and then i'm going to use this whip to whip his ass like this whoops probably shouldn't do that he's gonna kill me isn't it ah he's coming for me ah i broke my whip oh my god nope ah, i need hide and wood that's all right my base is only up there i'll run back and hopefully this guy's less aggro at me when i come back just gonna go and break all these get the material back from them why not just while i'm waiting for my marilla top to uh to get up okay guys so i think we're pretty safe i mean there's nothing literally around that's well there's nothing around there's a jaboa there there's the ankylo there i don't even know where the other ankylo has gone or the other um or the dodicarus so they've just gone so I'm, I'm i'm pretty happy i'm safe here so i'm just gonna cut away and come back when this guy is tame because there's nothing interesting going on he's not too far off from being up anyway and i can see that his uh his top is quite good actually so we should have this guy up in no time. So guys, not long now before the Marilla top is up, as you can see. Oh, we've got one over there, we've got another one. Look, they're, they're literally crawling everywhere around the area that I am, like I say. I don't know if you guys got your base around here or something like that, but literally there's no ends to them. You can literally find them everywhere. They're always like trampling through my base and stuff like that as well, so. Look, you just got loads of stuff out here. There's barely ever any... Uh, obviously, Raptors is a big thing around here as well. So, it's a great idea to uh, build a base here. But other than Raptors, you don't have anything really... Anything else really coming out of you. What's going on over here? Not pro cop stones. Look, you can just see there's loads of them. Literally everywhere. You won't struggle to find any of these. To be really honest with you. They're just, they're just everywhere. Oh, we're up. We're up. I didn't even notice. Woohoo! Yay, we got him up. He's up. All right. So, halfway through, I took my narcotics out because I realized he wasn't, he was going to be fine. Um, I'm going to take these out. Keep one in. Let me get you out of here. Woohoo. We got our Marilla Top up. So, the first thing about the Marilla Top, guys, is the speed. The walking speed, as you can see, fairly average. For the size bit, you expect this. One thing I didn't expect, however, is the speed when sprinting really fast, actually. It's pretty good for a travel mount, I'm not going to lie. I would definitely use this. Now, the stamina as well with this guy is pretty decent as well. I find it quite good, actually, considering the size of it and how well and fast it runs. So, when it comes to harvesting berries and things like that, this creature is pretty darn good. You can see, look, it collects all sorts. And, as well, it's pretty good when it comes to wood and thatch mostly thatch as you can see it takes a lot of thatch but can still get that just a little bit of wood if you need it quick stop to get some metal i need this i need this so bad 
And the good thing about Marillatoffs as well, if you find a nice little gem like so, these guys are great for carrying stuff like your metal and stuff. They don't do a reduced, obviously, but they're still good. Now, the Marillatoff has two attacks. Your first attack is the prime attack, and it's like a headbutt. It also does a great pushback effect, so that's really handy to have because it can keep opponents at bay and allow you to kill them without taking damage. The next one is an area attack. Now with this, it's a nice little stomp attack and it damages creatures all around you. So if there's people attacking from behind, you can deal damage to them as well. Now guys, of course you can use good old equipment on the Marilla top if you want to. Um, it's up to you. It's, uh, it's already badass it is, but you can use this to shoot people at a distance and then when they get close, Get your Marilla top to uh, finish the job if you need to. So the main reason for a Marilla top and a handy feature, especially for you beginners, I say the best to last, is the ability to store water. Now you can see we've got zero out of 750 for the water. And all we need to do is simply ride the Marilla top or even get it to walk over into some water. If we get it here nicely, we jump off it and there we go look he starts drinking and what we're going to do is let him just drink and drink and that way we'll have water he's basically a portable water dispenser so we can just let him fill up like so and also what this means is we can fill our canteens or our whatever you've got really what, what have i got i've got water skin i'm still poor guys so we've got a water skin once he's at uh 750 we'll then put our water skin in there we go so now he'll stop drinking for example, now, if we take him out of here, let me get him out of here, because if we don't, he'll just drink again and won't see it. But, say if we've jumped off here like so, you see he's got 750 water in there. We can put our canteen in there like so, and you can either press E or you can get up your uh, menu and click consume, and he'll drink that and we can put it back in our inventory. And it's nice and full, and you can see it's come out of his water pouch. We don't have to do that as well. If we want to drink straight from him, we can we go over and open up our dino wheel and we click drink water and we can drink straight from him if we want to. So this is great if you haven't got a well or anything built yet. I don't even have a well built yet. But this Marilla top is going to be brilliant for storing water for us and we're not going to be worried about water. That means that when we go on explorations into the middle of a desert thing, we can take this guy and have water on hand whenever we need. Which one of y'all just took a sh Hey! Hey! That's a bit rude, you! Damn! You don't have to even get off your Marilla top. I just got off to show you. But you can see we're on top of him and he's just drinking the water. So guys, that's been it for me and my Marilla tops. And they are pretty decent for beginners. They're very easy to tame, and then they're just good for water and things like that, but also good for traveling because of the speed, and getting berries and such. Basically, everything a beginner could need, a Marillatoff is good. And get a low level one, you shouldn't have any problems, should take them down pretty easy as well. So, if you did like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, guys. You know what it does, it helps me out massively, and I'll hopefully see you all in the next video. We're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic, believe you could have it, and I know of sadness, the anxious and panic, the infinite vastness of all